We have to figure out where it is exactly ourselves. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Gilgit, Baltistan in Pakistan in the mountains and starting this morning from a very strategic, a very important place in the world. The plan for today is we're driving from Gilgit to Hunza Valley and Hunza Valley is known for uh, being one of the most spectacularly beautiful places in Pakistan and maybe in the world um, and the food people eat is known people are known to have a very very long life some of the longest lifespans in the world because the food is so good uh, the food is so fresh and the air and water quality is so good and definitely tonight for dinner is going to be a highlight because we've been invited to a local home to experience the, the longevity food of Hunza Valley <laughs> This is the merger of three of the world's highest mountain chains. So let me just let me stand up, let me see if I can get this right. Uh, but directly behind me right here, that's where the Himalayas, I guess the Himalayas begin. That's where they collided. So the Himalayas are there. Um, if you look behind me, what's up Ali and Jill? Good. <laughs> this is the Hindu Good Kush Good mountain range. And then if you look over on this side where you have these jagged rock peaks, that's the Karakoram. Uh, mountain range and then the river is the confluence between the Gilgit and the Indus rivers That is the actual point where all three of the mountain chains collide This is just a quiet peaceful y'all you can hear literally is the rivers flowing Just for a little more context the Himalayas are of course home to the highest mountain in the world Mount Everest uh, The Karakoram mountain range is home to K2 uh, but sometimes they're referred to kind of as the same, but, but geologically uh, the Karakorams are a total different range and then the Hindu Kush is actually right behind me right now. And then back at the hotel for breakfast. Mm. Oh. Nothing like curry for breakfast in the morning. This one is called chicken achari. It has like a mustardy taste to it. Some kima, some minced meat curry. Okay, and that completes breakfast. Uh, we gotta pack up our bags and we are moving. We're on our way to Hunza. Thank you to Gilgit Serena Hotel for hosting us, for sponsoring our stay. We had a wonderful stay, but we are on our way now to Hunza, Hunza Valley. And even the drive is going to be spectacular and we're gonna stop for a, a viewpoint. Hopefully we have some clear weather today. Spectacular scenery. Oh, just taking a little stretch, but oh man, the scenery. There's a there's water just gushing from the mountain. Just it's majestic. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh it's so fresh though. Yeah, wow. Oh, it's so tasty. Oh, that's such pure water. Wow. That is cold and awesome. Wow. Woo. Got a little water up the nose, but that was so worth it. What's up, I'll check up. Hika Chai Sangata. Sure. Welcome to Shapshiro Point. And Shapshiro, it's, it's like a stuffed pocket of dough, kind of like a pastry, but filled with uh, beef. This version is filled with beef. He has this huge um, rounded concave uh, hot plate. And then if you come over on this side, he has the, the wood fire burning, which is which is heating that entire iron plate. He's rolling out the dough and he's gonna he's gonna make one fresh for us right now. And then that goes directly onto the hot plate which is, which is fed by the fire. Mm. 
He's saying that you have to open it from here and then you eat it. Oh, don't so you kind of drink the soup at the same exactly. time. Exactly, so you don't take the entire bite because then it ah. will spill over. Okay. Yeah. But when I was talking to them, uh, making it, they said it was beef, but actually it's yak. Kind of open up the pocket like this. Um, oh, and yeah, you just kind of like lift up the lid. Oh, immediately you can smell that aroma, the onions in there, the juices, and you can really smell that like meatiness to it. Oh, that looks great. You can kind of peel off a peel off a piece, I think. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that lid, grab some of that. Yeah, oh, look how juicy that is. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Mm. The meat mixture, the yak mixture is awesome. You get the crunchy onions. You've got like the brothy juices. There's definitely some chili in there, some powdered chili. Look at Ying. Ying got another way to method of eating it. See? Ying, how is the yak? Very good. Like a pocket. Mm. And the bread, because you kind of like fire roast the bread at the same time, you put them in the fire for a little bit and then onto the hot plate. It kind of slow cooks, so it's like, like the bread is gummy, but at the same time, it's kind of crispy on the edges. And it has that fire roasted flavor to it. What a cool yuck dish. Yuck meat for the first time in my life. Oh, that's yuck meat for the first time? No. Mm. Nice. Follow that with some chai. Or rather, this might be dutpati. Oh, the perfect accompaniment beverage. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One more cup of dutpati as we lounge back in these chairs. <sighs> yeah, you can taste the creaminess and they're also using yak milk. Still at the base of Rakaposhi. We made it to the Rakaposhi viewpoint, which is uh, one of the highest mountains in this region, 7,708 meters, 25,025 feet it's massive and we it's it's fully clouded over you can't see the the top the top the summit uh, but you can see the base you can see where the snow and the glaciers start uh, and it, it, even without being able to see it you, it just has this aura it has this sensation just I mean grandesque monstrosity Morning. Hunza, Serena. Thank you How very you? much. Welcome to the Hunza Valley and we, we drove all the way to uh, Karimabad which is one of the, the main villages, main towns in the valley. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's like unimaginable beauty. It's, it, you cannot even process, it's almost too much for your eyes to even see. Uh, just no man could even create something of this spectacle. Thank you, Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Smoke, but the smoke is a traditional greeting. Very aromatic. You can smell a lot of the uh, like. Looks like a mixture of pine and needles and herbs that are. Herbs, yeah. It's warming and smells great. Welcome, oh, Thank you very much. Welcome. A little Welcome. Bit of, oh, thank you. Oh, and we've got some some of the bread and butter. Oh, nice. Grab a little piece of that. With a whole piece of butter. Yeah. Just a little chunk of butter there. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, that's rich. Fresh apple juice, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> I can say without a doubt, this is the best cup of apple juice in the most beautiful location that I've ever had apple juice in my life. <laughs> Where is Micah? <laughs> Welcome to our room. Yeah, we're gonna need some thick blankets here, thick purple blankets. Um, we literally, I mean, that, that same exact view is right outside on the balcony, on the patio. We're walking up to the Baltit Fort, which is one of the landmarks of Hunza Valley. Um, it sits on top of uh, another little hill, um, like just in the shadows of the mountain, and it's spectacular, but we're just gonna hike up to the, just to get a viewpoint of it. Yeah, we are definitely not at sea level. Oh, you can feel your heart working. The air is thin, and we're getting to the fort up here. Come on, Micah, we're gonna make it. And 
man, we're like in the cradle of the mountain. This is a 700 year and something old fort, but it is old, made of stone. And then you just see the wood like balconies. And then you have this unbelievable view again. Just beyond adjectives. Joel describe. hasn't even spoken. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> it's beyond words, man. That's... Hunza Food Pavilion have a heavenly experience. This is just a cool little food hut that we have stopped in. It's just a nice looking spot, so we're just inquiring about some, some snacks here. What is this? This is chai chapshiro mixture. Oh, yeah, that goes inside of the uh, chicken, that goes inside of the shop. Chicken, oh, okay. coriander, mint, ginger, onion. Oh wow, so that's apricot oil? Oil, yeah. Apricot oil. Oil, yeah. Uh, but right now she's making a shapshiro fresh. But this is a totally different version from what we had earlier. This is made with chicken and you can see the spices in it. Um, and she actually fries hers in apricot oil. So and that was actually the inside mixture. Yeah. We've all taken a seat here. It's just such a cozy yeah. little like mountain. It's like a mountain mi miniature yeah. chalet. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Chop shiro boys. It's like curried chicken inside of like doughy, fragrant, like it has a chapati kind of feel to it, but then it's so fragrant because of that oil. Wow. Yeah. Is great, yeah. The chicken is beating the yolk by miles. <laughs> a local cottage cheese. Set this on top. That just, yeah, that is like cottage cheese with organic herbs in it. Yeah, you're gonna wanna put this cottage cheese just smother every single bite in it. This is like, <laughs> this is something you want to be eating when you're on a mountain. Okay, next up is the the soup that she has today, which is called daudo, which is that noodle. Um, but it's actually, I think, like dough pieces. But I guess that's what a noodle is anyways. Um, there's some herbs in here. Look at that soup. Mm. Oh, it has this wonderful, like, unexpected sourness to it. And then you really taste the herbs, like it tastes like a mountain mint. Those are like, like little gummy noodles. But what I like is that, like, amazing herb taste. Thank you very much, it was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, when you are in Hunza Valley, she's just down from the Baltic Fort. My uh, this is a restaurant name is Bal Hunza Food Pavilion. Hun Hunza Outside Food Pavilion, yeah. yeah Hunza food and what, Pavilion. what was your name again? Lal Shezadi. Lal Shezadi. Yeah. This is the spot. Oh yeah, you can see Hunza Food Pavilion. Okay, from here we're driving back to the hotel and they've prepared a local lunch for us. So we're gonna go have lunch, another lunch, uh, and then we will proceed onwards from there. But then tonight is gonna be a very special opportunity because we've been invited to a local home to have a local Hunza food experience. Here's something I've never done before. <laughs> I can't do it, hand. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my hand. Okay. okay. Oh. Mmm. It's so crisp. It's so juicy. Perfect. A perfect apple. It's still attached. <laughs> Is that the copyright book? Can I also do it? <laughs> you can do it too. <laughs> I'm sure anyone who grew up around apples has done that before, but that's a first for me. I didn't grow up around a, like cold weather where they grow apples. 
Thank you very much. Welcome to Thank you. So we just sat down. We're gonna have a quick lunch, um, and they're gonna prepare a local Hunza food meal for us for lunch today at the hotel. Of this, if you book it like well in time. Thin layers of dough. Um, which have then been fried and then stuffed with that looks like that similar cottage cheese which we just ate mm. Almost has like a cheese dumpling taste to it, but it's more like layers. Thank you very much yeah, right. Okay next dish. Oh, there's more there's chunks of meat in this one. Nice looks very familiar Hmm mm. This one is good too. Um, it's a little less herbaceous than the one we just had before, but this one has a little more meat in it. Main course has arrived. Uh, two separate things. One is lamb, I think, and the other is harissa, which is a traditional staple made with wheat. It looks like almost made into a porridge-like paste. I'm silent, digging into that lamb. And if I talk a lot during eating. I mean, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm, the ginger. Mm. Well, that's just like lamb roast. Yeah, that's delicious. I think it's just been like, tastes like it's just been boiled. The lamb is good, but I think it would be better with some kind of a sauce. Mm. Oh, that's good. You can taste kind of like the butteriness of it but it's really creamy. And then you can taste the, like, the grains of wheat all as well. Final course is dessert, and it's in this little, looks almost like a little pudding with some grapes on the side, and then there's some almonds on top. I'm gonna grab that mint leaf as well. Kind of has like a pumpkin mm. taste to it. Oh, the, the beloved apricot oil. Finished with lunch. The food is kind of on the plainer side, uh, but it was, yeah, very good quality ingredients. You could taste the freshness of the ingredients. Uh, actually, that was a very late lunch because it's almost, it's gonna be sunset pretty soon, so we gotta rush, uh, and it's about a 30 minute drive to get to the sunset spot. But we gained quite a lot of elevation, uh, but this place is called Eagle's Nest. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's cold up here. It's cold. Mike, are you cold? <laughs> so we sort of missed the sunset because it already has gone down below the peak, uh, but the view is absolutely spectacular. You can see all the different colors of purple and blue. There's so much snow on those peaks. Um, and then down here, this is the main Hunza Valley where the Karimabad, where we are staying. And I believe that's what they call Ladyfinger. That, it's such a jagged, sharp peak. The actual sun is shining onto these peaks over here. They're monstrous. And that's so much snow, you're starting to see more colors. <sighs> yeah, we gained some elevation. I can feel that. Oh, and it, yeah, it's chilly up here too. I was thinking about it over there, like, if you could ever say that something could top this, you'd have to, like, leave, leave the earth. It's otherworldly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting out of here. It is freezing cold, but this is, it's truly an epic viewpoint. Just 360 all around. It's mind-blowing. Oh. For dinner tonight, we've been invited by a local family to, to eat at their home, uh, arranged by the Minister of Tourism, GB. Uh, so we're just on our way there now. Okay, so we've met up with our host. Um, okay, and he's taking us down. This is a very unique area of town. <laughs> yeah, of course. Walking streets. And we're also very close to the, the Altit Fort, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is and this is where your home is? Yeah, of course. Wow, wow. wow very cool. Yeah, most of the uh, houses are built of stone. Yeah. So cool walking back in these streets and we really walk back and see some really narrow, narrow lanes. You can see the, the walls made of stone and mud construction and I think we arrived at the house. Thank you. Okay. So oh. this was in the border of the house, so it came just, wow. yeah. yeah. So this is just a... Karima Khan, the Hazri Imam, he had visited this house specially. Wow. 
nice to meet you. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Very cool, very cozy on the inside, just carpeted, um, and then with pads on the on the floor, and then you can this is just this is within one of the stone homes. It's beautiful. This is amazing. And this house has a lot of historical important significance as well. Um, it's a really, uh, it's like a museum of a home because it's so well preserved and so ancient. which is the soup. Daudo, Daudo, it's called Daudo. I have the extreme honor of sitting next to Grandma, who is an amazing lady. This is her house. Uh, she's welcomed us into our, her house. Um, and this looks like a hearty soup. You can see those dough-like uh, pieces of dough, which are in the soup. It looks almost like a porridge because it's so thick. Mama, hold on, yeah, oh, wow, she's 85 years old. She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's, that's amazing. It's, it's really hearty and warm. And other compared to other versions we've had, this has more of the noodles in it, so it's more, yeah, it's more hearty. Okay, again, I think I said this earlier today, but this is the soup that you want to be eating when it's cold outside. Okay, so they're just bringing out more and more dishes, but all local Hunza dishes. Um, this one is very interesting. It's potato with uh, apricot seed paste. Um, and he just brought out an apricot seed chapati. So inside is an apricot paste, but I think it's apricot seed, which is almost like almond. Mm. That almost tastes like a spring onion, like cream cheese, but then it's like nutty and you can... Wow. Oh, that's like refreshing and kind of oniony. All right. Okay, I'm going to try the rose dumpling next. And yeah, it's wrapped up but filled with yak meat and then there's a sauce. Um, yeah, that's like a giant dumpling. I think it's a I think it is a one biter. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's a big bite though. It's like right at that stage where you're not sure. And that tastes like a sweet, kind of like apricot sauce. Okay, next up I'm gonna try the pasta dish, which is uh, made from wheat. Look like little sheets, and then shaved, and then cooked up with a vegetable. Mm. Oh, it has like this wonderful sourness to it. And then you can taste the herbs. A slight like bitter vegetable. This one is the potato with the apricot seed paste. Wow, that's like the greatest mashed potatoes you've ever had in your life. You can, oh, it's so like natural tasting. And then the potatoes just dissolve in your mouth and just so like nutritious tasting. Okay, next up for the shapshiro. Um, and this is something we've had already a couple of times today, but this is, this is really one of the local staple foods. This one is loaded with yak meat. Mm. You can taste the onions in there and then just wrapped up in that mincemeat, yeah. And that one has a little more spice to it. <laughs> okay, one more dish that I didn't try yet, filled with cheese on the inside, and kind of, again, the thin layers of dough. Mm. Oh, that's like a really kind of sour, like, cream cheese kind of sensation, fully organic. Just from Hunza Valley, everything we're eating. In the Hunza Valley, they're known for being very healthy and many old people um, and many a very high life expectancy because of the fresh air, because of the, and especially because of the food. And so one of the very traditional dishes that we've been eating, and actually it's probably my favorite dish of the entire meal, is the chapati, which is filled with 
um, the apricot seed paste as well as walnuts and I think there's some apricot oil as well and that is one of the dishes that is one of the traditional foods of the Hunza Valley that is credited with longevity and uh, the health the good health oh the mint in that bite and that's yeah that's one of the best dishes what is that Mr. I'm Ali I'm pancakes. holding that secret for you a pancake the real secret of longevity <laughs> Desserts. This one bite gonna add one more year. One bite adds one more year. Hmm. Wow, amazing. Wow. Hmm. Oh, the honey. You taste like like caramelized honey in there. Hmm. And then you've got that like tart cherry jam. Wow. It's like a juicy. Honey filled pancake. That was an unbelievable experience with the music, the food, the family. Uh, having the honor to sit next to Grandma as she just smiled. Um, and then just that food. Whoa. Watch your step. Uh, but and oh, we just figured out that this is a 400-year. They mentioned this is a 400-year-old house. Well, yeah, Dude. that was so cool. <laughs> what a treat. Yeah, a privilege. A real treat. Yeah. Mind your head, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. This, this is tradition. Ah, okay. Thank you. Tradition. Thank you so much. Hello. Thank you. Please, please. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I wasn't even sure what we were going to do, but we drove over um, and we were invited to another house another home this is a really old ancient home another stone home um and we're all huddled around it they're sitting by the fire and i think they're preparing something to eat again wow this is spectacular and what a warm welcome they gave us oh there's a I'm not totally sure what they're gonna make yet. He's 86 years old um, and he was in the army. He has all his medals on his jacket. Um, and then this uncle is 70. 72 years old. 72 years old. This is such an, an, an unbelievable cultural learning experience. First they made this like like flat roti and then after that they made pancakes so she had this batter uh, which she swirled onto the hot plate and then swirled it into a pancake shape and then flipped it um, and that just sizzled and hissed and bubbled away again. We've got chai, we've got a plate of grapes, we've got the, the pancake, a hunza pancake. I almost cannot explain this entire situation and experience and cultural beauty in words. Okay, but let's test the pancake. You can really taste that butter, which is just fresh butter. That tastes really good. And then the pancake, yeah, it has a wonderful kind of gummy, spongy texture to it. Home cooked. Yeah, it's wonderful. Wow. Oh, that just... Oh, yeah, I'm toasty warm, actually. I'm almost sweating right now because I'm sitting by the fire drinking tea, but it feels so good. <laughs> Thank you.
and they're seedless. Oh man, just just like perfectly sour and tart um, and juicy, and the seedless is great. Just, mm. and then immediately chase that with some of the chai. Thank you very much. Shukriya. Shukriya. Oh, thank you. Okay. I can get it. Okay, no problem. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, this is, so this is just kind of the entrance area. Entrance area of the house. Okay, so we're, we're heading out of the house now, but yeah, it was just an honor to sit with the family. The, every generation was present and just to eat the pancakes, to drink tea, everything cooked fresh before us. It was spectacular and special and just, yeah, it was an honor to have that opportunity. Thank you. From the outside, it just looks so dark and quiet, but then step inside and there's like 20, 20 people, all family inside. It's so cozy and warm too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. So, I want to okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye, nice to meet you. Okay, made it back to the hotel. Whew, it is a chilly evening. Massive thank you to Suleiman, who is the director of tourism in GB Gilgit, Baltistan, uh, for arranging that for us, and for Ali from Landmark Communications and Travels for arranging everything this entire trip. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, tomorrow we have another early and a long day. We're going up to the Kunjarab Pass. We're also gonna have some local food. Uh, yeah, that's coming up in the next video, but. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from the Hunza Valley in Pakistan. See you on the next video.